Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. If you've had any problems with adding a USB storage device to your Fire Stick, you're not alone. The most common problem is not being able to see your additional Fire Stick storage. This video will hopefully help you to troubleshoot this issue and answer some of the most common additional storage questions. So let's go and take a look. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. Before we get started, this video is for Fire Sticks only, specifically the second generation Fire Stick, the 4K Fire Stick, the Fire TV Stick HD version, the Fire TV Stick Lite and the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Additional storage is added in a slightly different way on other Fire TV devices, such as Fire TV Editions and Fire TV Cubes, and are not covered in the troubleshooting tips in this video. To make the tips in this video easier to follow, I've included clickable sections so that you can quickly jump to different parts that I refer to during this video. Kicking these sections off with formatting. One of the most common reasons why your storage cannot be seen is because it is not in the correct format. The storage drive that you are using must be formatted to FAT32 for it to be recognised and should be no larger than 2 terabytes. However, Amazon officially recommends using USB drives that are 128 gigabytes or smaller. Amazon also recommends that high-speed USB 3.0 drives are used, even though Fire Sticks have a USB 2.0 port. This is because USB 3.0 drives tend to have faster read-write speeds and will perform better even when connected to USB 2.0 ports. Check the links in the description below for my recommendations of which storage to use. I always prefer to use a SanDisk branded flash drive and I have yet to experience any issues using this brand with any of my Fire Sticks. If you have a brand new storage drive that is up to 32 gigabytes in size, it should already be formatted to FAT32 and you shouldn't need to format it yourself. If your storage drive is larger than 32 gigabytes, it's likely that it will be formatted to XFAT and will need to be formatted to FAT32 before you can use it with your Fire Stick. If you need to format the storage yourself, you can do this on a computer. And if you need some help doing that, skip to this part of the video for a quick tutorial. Once you're sure that your storage is correctly formatted to FAT32, make sure that you're connecting it to your Fire Stick correctly. Connect the micro USB end of your OTG cable or adapter to the micro USB port on your Fire Stick. Next, plug your USB storage into the USB port on the OTG cable or adapter. Then plug your original Fire Stick power supply into the micro USB port on the OTG cable or adapter. And then power your Fire Stick up. Once you're sure that you've correctly formatted your storage and it's also connected correctly, a common assumption is that you will be able to see your storage drive within your Fire Stick settings. This assumption is incorrect for Fire Sticks that are running Fire OS 5 or Fire OS 6. You will not see your storage here whether it is formatted correctly or not. Fire Sticks running Fire OS 5 and Fire OS 6 do not include the functionality to display your additional storage on this screen. Only Fire Sticks running Fire OS 7 will be able to see additional storage here. 
Additional storage is handled and viewed in different ways depending on which Fire Stick you have. This makes it important to know which operating system or Fire OS your Fire Stick is running on. If you're not sure of which Fire OS you have, it's very easy to check. From your home screen, go to Settings, My Fire TV, About, and on this screen, you can find the software version on the right hand side. It will either be Fire OS 5, Fire OS 6, or Fire OS 7. If you are still unable to see your storage and none of the tips so far have helped, skip to the relevant section depending on which Fire OS you have to continue troubleshooting. If you have a Fire Stick that is running Fire OS 5, you can't add additional system storage to install apps. If you try to add your storage as extra system storage on your Fire OS 5 Fire Stick using a DB shell, you will get this error, connection failed. If you do want to add more storage to install more apps, you will need to upgrade to a newer Fire Stick that supports this. If you do decide to upgrade, please consider using my Amazon referral links in the description and pinned comment below, as you'll be helping to support my channel if you do. With a Fire Stick running Fire OS 5, if you want to share files with your Fire Stick, such as photos and videos, you can use additional storage as general storage, and you can do this by using a File Explorer app, such as Xplore. If you want to find out how to install Xplore and use it to view your storage, check out my step-by-step -step tutorial by clicking on the link which you can find in the description down below. If you already have Xplore installed and you can't see your storage and you're sure that your storage is formatted to FAT32 and you're sure that everything is connected correctly, skip to this part of the video for further troubleshooting tips. If you have a Fire Stick that is running Fire OS 6, there are three different ways that you can add and use additional storage. You can use it simply as general storage to share files between your Fire Stick, your computer and other Fire Sticks. In which case it only needs to be formatted to FAT32 and you can see and use it in a File Explorer app such as Xplore. Or you can use your storage to install more apps. In this case, you will need to run an ADB command to partition it to additional system storage. Or you can use your storage as a mixed storage drive, so you have a portion of your storage that you can use to install more apps and a portion of your storage that you can access and save files to. In this case, you will also need to run an ADB command. For options 2 and 3, if you haven't already done so, you can follow my step-by-step -step tutorial showing in the link above me or in the description down below. If you're using your storage as general storage to share files with your Fire Stick such as videos and photos, you can do that by using a File Explorer app such as Xplore. If you want to find out how to install Xplore and use it to view your storage, Check out my step-by-step -step tutorial by clicking on the link which you can find in the description down below. If you are using your storage as system storage to install more apps and have successfully run the command in ADB shell, this means that your storage is now allocated privately to the system and you will not be able to see it anywhere. You won't be able to see it in the Fire TV About menu and you won't be able to see it in Xplore either. But you can check how much storage space is being used and how much is remaining by running a short ADB command. For full details on how to do this, you can follow my step-by-step -step tutorial showing in the link above me or in the description down below. If you are using your storage as mixed storage and have successfully run the command in ADB shell, this means that some of your storage is now allocated privately to the system and you will not be able to see that part of your storage anywhere. You won't be able to see it in the Fire TV About menu. 
You will, however, be able to see the part of your storage that is not being used as system storage in a file explorer app such as Explore. As an example, if you have a 32 gigabyte storage drive that you partitioned as a 50-50 mix, you will be able to see and use roughly 50% of your storage drive in Explore. If you've gone with option 1 or option 3 and can't see your storage and you're sure that your storage is formatted to FAT32 and you're sure that everything is connected correctly and you're sure that any ADB command was successfully completed, skip to this part of the video for further troubleshooting tips. If you have a Fire Stick that is running Fire OS 7, there are three different ways to use additional storage. You can use it simply as general storage to share files between your Fire Stick, computer and other Fire Sticks. In which case the Fire Stick will handle this for you within the settings. Or you can use your storage to install more apps. In this case, again, the Fire Stick will take care of formatting your storage to additional system storage for you within the settings without any need to enter any ADB commands. Or you can use your storage as a mixed storage drive, so you have a portion of your storage that you can use to install more apps and a portion of your storage you can access and save files to. In this case, you will need to run an ADB command. If you haven't already done so, you can follow my step-by-step -step tutorial for adding storage to Fire OS 7 Fire Sticks that is showing in the link above me or in the description down below. If you're using your storage as general storage to share files with your Fire Stick, such as videos and photos, you can do that by using a file explorer app such as Explore. If you want to find out how to install Explore and use it to view your storage, check out my step-by-step -step tutorial by clicking on the link which you can find in the description down below. If you're using your storage as system storage to install more apps and have followed the steps correctly, there shouldn't be any issues being able to see it within the Fire TV About menu. However, you won't be able to see it in Explore as the storage is now allocated privately to system storage and is no longer accessible for general storage use. If you're using your storage as mixed storage and have successfully run the command in ADB shell, that means that some of your storage is now allocated privately to the system and part of your storage is allocated to accessible and usable storage. You'll be able to go into the Fire TV settings about menu and see around 50% of your storage used as external space, which is the space you can install more apps to. And you'll be able to see the part of your storage that is not being used as system storage in a file explorer app such as Explore. As an example, if you have a 32 gigabyte storage drive that you partitioned as a 50-50 mix, you will be able to see and use 50% of your storage drive in Explore. So you should be able to see around about 16 gigabytes of your storage. If you still can't see your storage and you're sure that your storage is formatted to FAT32, you're sure that any ADB command was completed successfully and you're sure everything is connected correctly, skip to this part of the video for further troubleshooting tips.
If your storage is still not recognized and you are sure it is formatted to FAT32, the first thing to try is to remove the storage and plug it back in. This usually resets the connection and will now recognize the storage. The second thing to try is a reboot. Remove the storage and the power from your Fire Stick. Wait 30 seconds, then plug the power back in. Once your Fire Stick is back on the home screen, plug in your storage. The third thing to try is a different USB storage drive. Some brands of storage work better with the Fire Stick than others. I recommend using a SanDisk flash drive and you can find links to recommended storage in the description down below. I hope that this video has helped you to discover why you can't see your USB storage and how to resolve it. Leave a comment down below with which tip helped and as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.